A, a vote of confidence in TV3 on its first day of transmission. All five and a half million shares offered in a public float have been fully subscribed. And a strong positive response from all sections of the community as this new era in television was launched. The television network that's been coming for 10 years arrived live to air at 7 o'clock this morning. Not a moment too soon. But first day jitters vanished as Joanna Paul made the first live appearance on the network presenting the morning news. And you didn't even look scared. <laughs> My heart's going <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> For News and Current Affairs Chief Marcia Russell, today was the fruit of five years' work. It feels like a great big machine has been set in motion. There isn't really much I can do. Somebody's taken this baby over and it's going to run. It's a wonderful feeling. The feeling started last night with a gala black tie event. 400 guests from all over the world filled the TV3 studios, later sailing away to Rangitoto. Celebration 2 for America's NBC network, part owners of TV3. We're very excited. As uh, the world's oldest network, we're particularly happy to be associated with the world's newest network. November 27 marks the birth not only of a station, but of the man who founded it. Tom Parkinson, 47 today, celebrated with friends at his Eisenbad production house, five years after he took the plunge to create a new channel. I sort of left Television New Zealand with a little box about that big and I thought Jesus what do I do now the years that followed were troubled with warrant appeals deregulation and fallout from the stock market crash but the will to succeed was there and this is the result the critics of course will have their say well is there enough room for three I personally think one of us is going to struggle um, I hope it's you you hope it's me in the end it's up to you Janet McIntyre, 3 National News. And that's the way it was on Monday the 27th day of November. I'm Philip Sherry. Good night. Hold on.